Hey guys, Devil Man Dan here. In this video, I want to show you where I've been farming ever since the new patch 1.0.8 has been released. Um, I usually start on the quest here, and I, all this farming in this video is going to focus strictly on Act 1. Uh, I'll do probably other videos later on as I get better farming areas and later acts as well. But I've really just been focusing on Act 1 for now. Anyway, um, I usually start in Prison Angel at the Chamber of Suffering quest. Or you can start at the Cursed Hold. This might actually be better so you can get like an extra boss kill in there if you go all the way out through it. But I usually start Chamber of Suffering. I'm going to jump in a game here. Alright, now we are in game. And uh, so you usually hit the waypoint first. First place I always go is to the Festering Woods. The reason I go here is for the guaranteed elites at the warrior's rest and the um, crypt on the other side and those are always one's going to always be on the left and one's always going to be on the right let's kind of run through here a bit maybe yeah, so here we get some fury going so I usually run through here and look for these two areas as well as uh, any elite packs on the way just so we can get five stacks as quickly as possible so they jump down here. And I'm just going to kind of just quickly show you. So you run through here. See the champion pack. Or the rare mob, whichever. <laughs> is uh, usually there. So now we're just going to run out. Act like we killed him. So that'd be one. One stack there. And as I'm running over to the other one, kill any packs you see around here. So this one, let's say we killed them. And that would be two there. Let's get, keep going. And here's the other places right around here. Oh, there it is down there. We jump down here, hit Warrior's Rest, run all the way over there, kill the other one. And then I usually head back out here if I haven't cleared this like entire map. Always wanted to kill monsters along the way. But the main point of this area is just to get stacks going. So let's see if I can... Actually, I'm just going to run back over to the waypoint. I can do that. I usually uh, teleport out, out from here and head back to town. But uh, since I got some mobs chasing me and stuff, definitely want to go back to the waypoint. But anyway, I can head back to town. And the next I want to hit is the Fields of Misery. So at this point, if we did the above and killed all the stuff, we'd have three stacks. So you can either come here and start going through here. But if you want the key warden, you need to before you kill him, you need to have five stacks. So if I have three stacks, um, I'll usually come to the cemetery, or instead of the cemetery, you could head to Leoric's Manor, and you could just run backwards through to get that one guaranteed elite pack that's outside of there. So you got a couple of choices there. It just kind of depends on personal preference there. And then once you got four or five stacks head here and if you have four stacks I usually hope to find an elite pack before I find the key warden in here and here you just kinda work your way from the waypoint kinda going like in a circle or just kinda any way you want it really doesn't matter but you will kind of end up going in a circle as long as you just keep killing mobs and keep that going because you see the mob density with this patch is insane and other things you want to keep in mind on here in the Fields of Misery is these little side areas. The blue ones are bad because those are just quest, regular quest areas. And so I always skip that one. Stuff and just kind of run it through. And what you kind of want to look for here is a scavenger's den. That's a good area as well as the, the decaying crypt. The decaying crypt is probably the better one. And the best one around here, so uh, that one's definitely good. 
If you see any events, you know, you can do them as well. And then the other thing to look at for here is the key warden himself. So it's always good to kill him and get an extra key. And so once I kind of just go around through here, kill all kinds of mobs, and I'm doing kind of just go in a circle, basically. It's not like rocket science or anything like that through here. But, uh, nope, you can see there is the, oh, that's a lost mine. A lost mine I'll do sometimes, but it just kind of depends. It just seems really long and lots of those uh, stupid uh, bird nest things that I uh, don't really like. Those plague nests. don't really like those, so I don't usually do that. So you run right here, kill all these mobs, go in a big old circle, and then you can head back to the Cemetery of the Forsaken. And then from here, just kind of run down through here. we got a couple choices there as well. You can actually hit that waypoint, and then you can do all the three crypts if you want to. If you have some time and stuff, but um, sometimes I do that, and other times I just head out here to Weeping Hollow, which is the other major kill fest area in this patch. So you just kind of run. I always kind of do it kind of in a circle here, or more of a zigzag, I guess, and using the road, the road as my uh, separator. Just kind of go back and forth until I hit the road and then just keep going and doing that sort of deal. And then once I get to the bottom on this side, I've got all the mobs and everything, and then I'll head back over to the other side and uh, do the same thing on the other side of the road. And so I don't actually, I end at the top of the map, which is kind of, you know, some people like to end there at the entrance but it doesn't really matter since that run to where you need to go in town from there is pretty long you'll TP out anyway so okay so you got all this stuff and you do that you head back but I'm gonna go to the actual waypoint here and then head back to town. Now this usually can be the end of your run or if you'd like you can actually add on Halls of Agony. Um, I usually go to the manor and then just kind of run my way down all the way to the Halls of Agony down there and run all the way through that. That's why I said you could start at the Chamber of Suffering quest if you want to give you where you can kill the Warden boss and give you an extra you know just like an extra mob there to worry about killing and stuff so it just kind of depends on you. you can end up kill the butcher if you want if not it's no big deal now the path I do is probably not the best one to do here but this is one I've been doing since the new patch came out and that has gotten me from uh, in the past I guess what about a week two weeks since the patch dropped it's gotten me from Paragon level 79 to 96 so it's worked pretty well for me and that's with limited playtime so I thought I'd share it with you guys. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And I will talk to you guys next time.